What's up, Boomerites? How we doing? Um, I wanted to do some more Harry Enfield. Um, it doesn't say his name in the title here, but I'm assuming this is his. I think somebody suggested this video before. This is Look, Listen, and Take Heed. Women Keep Your Virtue. So uh, I'm assuming this is some uh, making fun of old misogynistic comedy or something like that. But uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's see what this is all about. Hopefully I can get a laugh or two out of it. Look, listen, and take heed! It's your 21st birthday, dear. Yes. Happy birthday. When a woman reaches the age of 21, something queer happens. She suddenly finds herself no longer interested merely in dollies and pretty frocks. She acquires a keen desire to seek greater knowledge of men. <laughs> Until today, she's thought of these creatures as affable uncles. <laughs> What the? <laughs> that looks so wrong to me. Oh, is does anybody else think that looked wrong? That looks so wrong to me. Stern fathers <laughs> and helpful stable lads. <laughs> now suddenly she views them with quite different eyes, as dashing pilots and spunky chaps with their hats at jaunty angles. <laughs> like all women, she needs a husband to make her complete. She must be careful. Before she reaches the end of her journey, she must walk through the minefield of caddishness. Caddishness? Men are not always as they seem. Hello. You're a pretty little thing, aren't you? He seems nice. Yes, but don't get married yet. Prod a little further. I wondered, do you like the music of Mozart? Yes, I do. Would you care to come to the cinema with me on Monday? Gosh. I could make it on Monday. And yet I hear alarm bells ringing in my head. Yes, his appreciation of Mozart was a hideous fib. In his eyes, you're only suitable for a sordid encounter in a dark cinema, where he secretly desires to take diabolical liberties with your knees. I'm afraid I'm busy on Monday. <laughs> Damn and blast! To hell with you then! I'm off to night attention and desecrated church. <laughs> See, he wasn't right for you, was he? No. But wait. Here comes another. I find you uncommon beautiful. Oh. oh dear. You know what to do, don't you? Yes. That's right. Strike the toothless foreign type savagely into the dirt. <laughs> oh, I'll never find a husband. It's all so unfair. <laughs> you are a silly thing. Now you're getting hysterical. Here. <laughs> there. Better? Yes. <laughs> what is oh, this? No. Wait a moment. Who's that bookish looking chap with the kindly face? Go and hover near him. Perhaps you can entrap him with your complexion. How do you do? My name is Charles. How do you do? I'm Sicily. Have I disturbed you? No, it's all right. I was just writing a check for the poor. That's awfully nice of you. Oh, I don't know. When you're terribly rich and a keen member of the Church of England, as I am, it's important to show a little modesty and compassion to those less fortunate than oneself. Oh. Advertisement break. Being a bachelor can be a bore. Oh, man. No wife and I'm famished. <laughs> no wife to cook for you, you're in danger of starving to death. But don't worry, now there's a solution. You pot poodle. <laughs> Oh my god. Minced pooch in an awful jelly. That looks disgusting. New pot poodle, the dead dog in a pot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well that was interesting. <laughs> um I don't know. I I typed in Harry Enfield and that one of that one pick popped up. And I picked that one. That was I. I lost it when they started. Uh, a random hand started smacking her around. That that was that was funny. <laughs> poor girl can't find a man, and I bet you the guy who said he was giving a check to the poor. You know he's up to something. He's definitely up to something. 
Because you don't just do that. There's got to be a catch to it. Uh, well, that was interesting. All right. You guys have a great day. More reactions coming soon. I'm King Boomer. Peace out, everybody.